Right. Let's just check this is all working. That's all good. Okie dokie. What have we got in lay stream then? Harry put high, but other than that, there's. Oh, Fred's here. <sighs> Alright, Fred. By the looks of it, you get the gold. Second, well, Harry posted hi probably about half an hour ago. I don't know if he's actually still in the stream. So, I'm discrediting it and saying that you've got the gold. <laughs> you have to actually be in the stream in order to get a medal from me. Um, how are you doing anyway? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, not too bad. I was going to say, I know it says like there's three people in the chat, but two, oh no, there's five people in the chat now. If it says there's three people in the chat, then it's normally one person plus the two that are me, because I've got it up on my laptop, well, up on my PC as well as my phone. So I take two numbers. Um... But yeah, other than that, I'm not too bad. I went and saw Jess and Louise yesterday for the first time in nearly six years. So, that was pretty good. Uh, at least there were no gas this time. Which makes a change. Um, even in my crazy German Bolton friend. <laughs> well, you get the silver, Max. So, yeah, welcome. Good to have you. I think the one downside for me putting Old Trafford in a vote is the fact that everybody then picks Old Trafford. Be a lot more helpful if I could zoom out on this. It would save me having to change seats every five minutes. Right. Pretty sure I had some pictures of... That's what I wanted. So even though it's grey on the top, like when it comes to the seat plan thing, they're actually black in real life. Um, cheers, need it after an cock moment with my concert archives. What, did you, what have you done with your archives? Uh, all thoughts. Um, well, I don't think it's far away from going over the line, is it? So... It'll be a hell of a signing for City. Because I know Chelsea and I think Spurs were linked with them at one stage. But I think... I can't remember how much he's going for. I think it's like 86 mil. 86 million pound, which is about 100 million euros. Which is going to make him the most expensive defender of all time, I think. But hey, that's what Leipzig wanted. At least no one can say that Harry Maguire is the most expensive defender anymore because that would be absolutely ludicrous. Um, Arsenal, Timber, Rice, Havertz. Yep. <laughs> there, was, there was something that I saw about that, actually. The fact that, obviously, Rice is going to Arsenal. So you'd have four players. You'd have Ramsdale holding White Rice. <laughs> You've turned half of your defence into a meme. And then live here as well, hopefully. He, he looks like he might be going to Liverpool. I've seen rumours banded about. I know we made a sign-in as well today, actually. We signed Will Forrester from Port Vale on a three-year deal. I don't know much about him, aside from the fact that we paid 200 grand for him. So, yeah, that's something. Um, looks like some have gone off the PC and where I thought they were, they're not there either. Yikes. Well, that's not good. Right, let's... Uh, 
let's see. So that's four that side, and then there's some indentation there for some reason or another. Uh, we're going for someone called Henriks. Yeah, Benjamin Henriks from Bayer Leverkusen. I think some people were thinking he was going to be a backup in case you didn't get Timber, but now it looks like you might be getting both together. So, all I know is about him is that he's a left-back, so he might be an upgrade on Tierney. I'm not sure how much they want for him either. Four. So I need to make that slightly wider. Well, predictably, I got told off for doing Old Trafford yesterday, so <laughs> like I thought I would. Um, probably gonna have to do the whole research of dates over the next few days. Yikes. Well, rather you than me. Uh, yeah, he isn't bad to be fair. At least he'll defend better than Zinchenko. Yeah, he's a, he's a natural left back, which is what you need. I think City would link with him as well about four or five seasons ago. I think they were actually linked with him the same time they went for Benjamin Mendy. Although they predictably picked a rapist instead. Which is a bit stupid. Uh, right, I think we're going to use... Have I actually got any pictures of that side? Not quite. <laughs> Arg. I see Zinni being a uh, better... I can't read. Um, I see Zinni being a backup centre mid, not going to lie. Yeah. It's his natural position, so it'd probably be better if Arteta uses him there, to be honest. Where's my thing with all the pictures? Oh yeah, that's right, I was working on Wigan last night. Um, right, just need a picture of that right hand side. It looks like it's actually black. There's, well, black along with the rest of it. Yes it is. That was easy enough. Um, He's actually a decent centre mid. Yeah, he plays there for Ukraine. I think Pep put him into centre back just because he was desperate for a centre back at the time. Well, uh, a left back rather at the time. But yeah, at least he'll give you another option if you've got someone like, I don't know, Smith Rowe out injured or Erdegaard even. Because he is very attack minded. Needs to be stolen, not black concrete. Uh, Bolton's new signing thoughts. Um, well, like I said, we signed Will Forrester earlier on. Um, don't know too much about him. To be honest, I thought it was a joke at first because I saw a Bolton account, like a fan account at least anyway, on Twitter just saying that apparently we've been linked with him. And I thought they were just making up a rumour because we hadn't signed someone in over a week. And lo and behold, we, it turned out we did sign him. But from what I know, and from what Vale fans have said, he's a 21-year-old right-sided centre-back, which is good because that gives some backup for Toll or even Gethin Jones if he was to play there. Um, but apparently he's got... It's got potential, but he's also got a bit of a mistake on him. So it's just a case of whether ever can like get him to play to his strengths and iron that out, and then hopefully he becomes a class centre back for us. 
I do find it funny though that we paid 200 grand for him, but then we didn't pay 250 grand for Kane Wilson. That's a bit of a baffling one. Um, Fanta, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Uh, Wickham signed Richard Keogh today. Played for Ipswich last season. So you signed a pensioner who also got done for drunk driving. That makes sense. Um, but no, e either way, he's a good player. Uh, wish it was a week for us, not signed anybody yet. No, I've, I've, I think you wanted to sign McAtee and Doyle back, but the problem is City don't want to let McAtee go. I think Doyle's more likely to leave, but even then that'll probably be a loan. Um, but yeah, I think Pep wants to keep McAtee around the Etihad, so that's why he's not going to be going anywhere. I think Cole Palmer's been linked with a move actually as well. I think Brighton were in for him. I think it was Brighton and Leicester I think were looking at him. That's what I was told today anyway. Um, Josh Keefe from Exeter has gone Swansea. Yes he has. Um, I can't remember if it, like if there was a fee involved or if it was a free transfer. Um, it's a good signing for Swansea. I'll give him that. But apparently Michael Duff has been targeting him for a while. And to be honest, he's someone I wouldn't have minded seeing at Bolton. But it's just a case now of whether he's got the attributes to step up to the championship. Um, McAteer's class he is. I mean, if we were in the championship, I'd have taken him at Bolton all day long. But I think Pep wants to do a Phil Foden with him. And plus, he's going to be learning from people like Kovacic. Uh, Rock well, he's attack minded, isn't he? So, yeah, I think he's he's very much going to be in the mould of someone like Kovacic. So, yeah, that's what that's what I see happening with him anyway. Um, I think they'd sell Doyle to us, but I think we'd end up paying twenty mil plus. Possibly, might be a little bit less than that. Um, Bolton had a nineteen million pound goalkeeper on loan. Let that sink in. Yeah, I know Burnley fans have been asking City fans and Bolton fans what we thought of Trafford, and I'll be honest, I think Trafford was probably the best keeper I've seen at the Reebok since we had Prime Yussi, which is really some going when you consider how young he is, and how much potential he's got. I mean, he's what twenty year old. Definitely got future England number one written all over him, without doubt. And I think what, something I read earlier on is apparently Burnley are looking to sell Aaron Muric. I think he's had offers in from Fenerbahce and someone else. I can't remember who else. But Fenerbahce was definitely one club that were in for him. And I think... In terms of the goalkeepers they've already got, if you discount Muric, they've got Bailey Peacock Farrell and they've got they've just signed Lawrence Vigaru as well from Leighton Orient, but I cannot see him being I cannot see Vigaru being anywhere near first choice. Not in the Prem. I think given the signings and keepers they've got, Trafford is no doubt gonna be Vincent Company's number one goalkeeper next season. I do not doubt it in the slightest. Um, gonna be honest, I think finishing last, it depends on the players that you sign. It's not always about quality. Well, not always about quantity, rather. So, I mean, I get that you're under, like, restrictions in terms of spending, but yeah, it's just about what sort of quality you can bring in. Or you could go the full forest route, bring in a shed ton of players, and then finish, like, 16th. Uh, forgot what material I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Although saying that, why did I... Oh no, I wasn't. Damn! Oh my god, what am I doing at all? I'm losing my mind. Um, uh, Tottenham fan doing stuff. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Literally, just as Fred mentioned Spurs. <laughs> uh... 
So I'm going to fill this bit in. I'm not doing any interiors on this stand because I cannot get the images. Um, it's nuts that McAtee played for us last season and he is one of the best I've seen play for us in a long time but not even the best player we had last season who would you say would be the best one that you had last season I'd be tempted to say that Ahmed Ozic. I think he's got potential uh Signed Solomon. Yeah, that, that was a bit of a puzzling one. I saw that when I was at work. I don't get why. Because, I mean, he's not exactly going to displace Son or Kulazewski, is he? Uh, Undi, by far, best player I've ever seen play for us. That's fair enough. He was also a shout, to be fair. Uh, Jagielka, a nearly 40 year old Phil Jagielka. Good lord. Uh, and L will represent the top 10 team one day. You never know. I think Ender Stevens is on the verge of a move to Rotherham from what I saw. And I know that Derby have let David McGoldrick go as well. Although he's gone to Notts County, and it's probably a bit of a backward step. Is that a door there? Um, Walker is the best right now. When he played for us, he wasn't as good. Well, he was in his young. He was in his younger years then, wasn't he? So. I think he. I think he was umming and ahhing about whether. He went back to Sheffield United to finish his career. So I think that's always a possibility. You might get him back one day. And stupidly, there is a door here. I don't know why. There's a door there that you can't even get to. Uh, I think Burnley will stay up. Company is cooking. Yeah, I can't remember who they've signed. They signed a few players, I think. Good old Burnley. Or in other words, they're a cheap Aston Villa. Right, so they've got Dara O'Shea, 7 mil from West Brom. They've got Lawrence Figaro, who I mentioned. Jordan Bayer, I don't know who he is. And they signed Michael Obafemi. Right, that's a strange one. Um, yeah, does he went Notts County? Yeah, I mean League Two is probably his level now, given the age that he is. Right, Place that black concrete. Um. This boy club, to be fair, is going to come back to us, I reckon. He probably will. It wouldn't surprise me. Quite a few players tend to do that. Uh, Villa are cooking. They look scary. Oh, I know they got Telemans on a free, which is a great bit of business, to be fair. But they've also signed Pau Torres. Well, I, don't think any, I know the connection was there, obviously, with Emery, but I don't think anybody really saw that one coming. And bearing in mind, they've still got Diego Carlos on their injury table as well, haven't they? So that's another one they've still got to come back yet. Yeah. I reckon Villa are going to be doing really well next season. Um... Just a matter of when I guess I think I'd Burnley finish in about 11th. Buyer is great. Um, played for him last season on loan. I, th I think Burnley, I would put them probably finishing about 12th. 
But 12 for 13th, I'd say, for Burnley. I mean, they might finish a bit higher if they get the right players in, but we'll see. Um, I mean, Nuts County is Dizzy's boy or club. That makes sense. Yeah, that's, an, that's another case of a player going back to his former club, so... Yeah, that, that one makes perfect sense. Oh, that's the wrong colour, isn't it? Damn! Hmm. Keep that one four wide, I think. Uh, that's why I made the switch. Yeah. So like I say, that that makes perfect sense. Uh... Right, so I'll do this segment first and then I'll move on to the other half. Um... He scored lo loads for Derby in League One. He did. I can't remember how many he scored. I think... Did he score against us? I think he did, actually. So, how many did he get? How many did McGoldrick get last season? 25. 25 in all competitions, 22 in the league. Which is good going. Oh yeah, my mate Tom Barkay's in place for him. <laughs> right, where are we? No, he didn't score against us. So I think we're one of the few teams in League One who McGoldrick did not score against last season. Uh, let's have a look at these windows. Right, so what we want to do is scored about four, I think, last year. Uh, I don't know. He might have done. I don't want to really go through his entire scoring career. Um. Gonna watch Notts County versus Stoke on Saturday. I'm going to Bolton versus Bamber Bridge on Saturday, so I'm not sure what I'm doing yet about Saturday's stream. I might move it to Friday. Like if that suits anybody, I don't know. Don't think anybody's paying attention to be honest. Um That's the wrong bit. Oh, for God's sake, man. Oh, no, we don't start pre-season until 15th. So you don't start until next week. I think... Who have we got next week? So we've got three games over the next week or so. We've got Bamba Bridge away Saturday. Then we've got, I think, Curzon Ashton away Saturday, on next Tuesday. That's a night game. And then next Saturday we've got Chester away. So I'll be able to visit a stadium... Which was my most recent build. So, fun times. Uh, how tall is that? It's an easy way I can do that is if I check from here. I can measure it going off door height. I think that's a full six to eight blocks, isn't it? So, I think if I do. I think there's like a flat back wall there and then this bit just sticks out because I know there's a gap between the roof of this and the actual stand roof. So... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I can do interiors. Oh, buzzing. I'll do that last though when I've done the rest of the stadium. Um... We have Chesterfield away. That's not too bad. Not too far away. That's one, two, three. I think I did it going up to here, didn't I? So that's... Oh, I already had it all measured out. So this was the roof of this, I think. 
Am I right in saying that? Sort of. I think that bit's a bit taller though, isn't it? So... Just getting the press seat a minute. Right, so that comes all the way out. So... That comes all the way out and goes up to the roof, right? This is a little bit lower and doesn't go all the way up, so that would mean... Hmm. I'll try it with four high windows for now. And then we'll see how we get on. Um, I also need to work out... This is three there, three. Uh, been to a gym in Chester. <laughs> Never been to the stadium though. It sits literally on the border of England and Wales. So the bit that I'm going to be standing in is in Wales. Um, reckon we've got seven. Oh, at Chesterfield, you should do. They're not exactly that good, to be honest. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So I'm just trying to work this out. Five, six. So it's more than six. Seven. Uh, it's annoying trying to put the frames in for windows. Uh, beat them five nil or something like that last time we played them, but then again we lost to Scunthorpe last pretty season and they went down. Oh dear. Yeah, that's not exactly the best. Uh, eight, maybe. Six, seven, eight. That's right, that's correct. Lovely. That is good. Cabal. And I think I just deleted a block by accident. No, I didn't. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. Talk, wrong one. There we go. Uh, I think we lost to Mansfield and Barnsley too, to be honest. Well, to be honest, pre-season isn't always like an indicator of how well you're going to do in a particular season. Like You might have a really crap pre-season and then do really well in the actual league itself. So... But the only good, the only thing about preseason, even though the results don't matter, it's good to get some sort of momentum under your belt. Uh, Jack, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Uh, you're only 28 minutes late. It's all right. I'm going to be streaming for a while yet, anyway. So you've not really missed anything. Um, lost three 0 at Mansfield. Oh. Well, to be fair, they've got a farmer's field for a pitch. Uh, I think it's three again on this one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's only two out. So if I do. Oh, do a seven for that one. Keep that at six. Do that as a seven six. Oh, sure. It's not overly noticeable. Um, Harry, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Um, 
or just do a typical Sheffield United and losing preseason and then go down? Well, there's always that possibility, but then again, who doesn't have that sort of preseason? Bon Jovi on again. Yay! Not that I'm a massive fan of Bon Jovi, by the way, it's just a decent tune. Uh, the ground looks good. Thank you very much, Harry. Appreciate that. I was just saying earlier on as well, I might move Saturday stream to Friday because I'm going up to Bamber Bridge on Saturday to watch Bolton. It's our first pre-season fixture. It depends if everyone thinks it. Well, if, if everyone's okay with me moving it to Saturday, then I will. Or moving it to Friday, rather. Uh, if it isn't It's My Life, then I'm unsubbing. Well, that's me down to 948, then. <laughs> oh, it's Wanted Dead or Alive. I think him, I think it's my life is on the playlist though. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, five. That's a five. There we go. Don't worry, I have Patsy Klein on all the fact that I am. Who the hell is Patsy Klein? Sounds like an American country singer. The fact that I've been moving the stream to Friday as well, then that means you'd be getting two streams on the trot, essentially. Which I think would be the first for a long while. Uh, Fisherman and Gamer, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Um, you'll know our songs. I might, I don't know. Uh, give us a, lo a little look at the whole stadium. I'm doing Old Trafford 2. Very nice. I mean, I'm a Bolton fan, so I don't know why I'm doing Old Trafford, but hey ho, I've done the Etihad, so it makes sense. So this is what I currently have. I don't know why I even put that bit of the roof over there. It's going to get removed anyway. Um, so the way I'm building Old Trafford, I'm doing it stand by stand, and in a sense, in the same way it was built. So the plan is to do the entire Sir Bobby Charlton stand first. Ex then expand the Sir Alex Ferguson, get that done, and then I'll do the Stretford end, then the East stand, and then finally fill in the quadrants. And then I'll go through and do interiors for the whole ground. So, that's my plan. It's going to take a while, though. So, the truss is on the roof I put on after the last stream on Saturday. Because I think Saturday I spent the entire time trying to sort all this out. So, yeah, it's not it's not looking too bad so far. It'll look better, obviously, as work progresses. Um, Ross, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Uh, I've made it. Indeed you have. Lovely. Uh, I went seeing two of my best friends on... Well, yesterday, it was the first time I'd seen them for the first time in about... Well, first time I'd seen them in about six years, nearly. Because it's the first real time that all of our schedules sort of matched up. It's a bit ironic that they're both girls, isn't it? Uh, right, so that's three. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, damn it. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh. Right, well, I know the end of the wall's there. I always do main stand first. Well, it's, n it's not so much it's the main stand that was the reason why I chose to do it first. It's actually because it's the only stand 
that's not been expanded so it's still got the original exterior and the other thing I did note like I went through on Street View and had a look at all the pictures and it's something that quite a few people miss when they're doing Old Trafford is that underneath the Stratford end the original exterior sort of carries on all the way through so that's where all the turnstiles are meaning what they did when they built it was just build outwards and over the top So, a lot, a lot of people miss it when it comes to doing Old Trafford and they just tend to leave it blank. But the more you know. Um, and she's got you on. I, I'll be honest, I've not heard of that. Oh, Brian Adams. Brilliant. This gives me Vice City vibes. Uh, I think this might be another one where it's like six seven six seven. Yep. Two three four. Uh, I was do yeah. Uh, if doing main road, what would be the best stand to start with? Um, I think let's have a look, shall we? Main road. Bearing in mind this is one I'll be doing as well at some stage. So I think Oh Again it might be a case of do the bits that were already there. So I'd probably leave the Kipax till last because that was detached and it was rebuilt. Um in terms of the first I would go for this one here. So I think that is that the I don't know the orientation of it. I think it's the north. It might be north stand. Oh, it's south. Right. So basically, start with the south. Work your way around because then you can do the boxes and then gauge the sort of height of what you want for your roof so that's probably your best bet I don't know for definite Today's things I just learned Coney Island Coney Island in New York hosts a televised hot dog eating contest. Well it is New York. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything less to be honest. Um I'm a Liverpool fan. Dill's gaming, welcome to the stream. Um I'm a Liverpool fan, boo. Ruined <laughs> joking. Um but I definitely think Old Trafford is iconic, but it needs an upgrade before they start getting better. Ten Hag has taken over, but I think they will get better. Yeah, it takes time, but I think the only way Old Trafford is going to get expanded is if the Glazers relinquish control. I know Populous, who did the Tottenham Stadium, they've been drafted in to draw the plans up. So I think what they've got is they either leave the stadium as it is but redo all the hospitality stuff and freshen it up or they can rebuild the south stand and expand it or a complete stadium rebuild which would probably be probably be the cheaper option i think it'd be the cheaper option anyway But the only issue is, is that if the Glazers stay in charge, no doubt they'll go for the cheapest option on the table, which would probably just be re, like, or well, not rebuild, but it'll be a case of just redo the hospitality areas and not expand the stadium in one shape or form. Uh, I think I'm gonna put black windows on that actually. But yeah, in terms of squad, again, it's going to be a case of get this takeover situation sorted and then 
yeah, go from there, I suppose. Um, every fourth, every fourth of July, because nothing says celebrating your country's freedom than stuff in your face with wieners. <laughs> he said wiener. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but it's an American thing, I'd imagine. Um, oh, popular to design the stadium I'm building. Yeah, popular, uh, widely renowned stadium designs. Like state well, sports architects is what they are referred to as. They've got offices all over the world, and I think my ideal job would be to work for them because obviously, like building all these stadiums I've sort of got a newfound respect for stadium architecture so yeah I think they designed a few stadiums actually in the UK I know they've done Spurs I think they had a hand on Wembley uh, can't think they might have done Arsenal as well actually Uh, a lot of the stadiums are okay, but I really love this design. Yeah, they, they do tend to go more for functionality. Um, but functionality while having a good sort of aesthetic to it. But I think functionality is top of the list. Um, basically, they have to eat as many hot dogs in 10 minutes. The winner rate 62. Fat sod. <laughs> Uh, hot dogs in water. Now you probably had a chocolate starfish in hot dog flavoured water. That's a new metal reference for anyone of a certain age. Um, a secret dunking them in water. Uh, do you think Mount is going to be a flop at West Ham? At West Ham? At Man United. I, I'll be honest, I don't know. I mean, I respect Ten Hag as a manager. There's every chance he could do well. Um, I think the issue at Chelsea was that they didn't know what his best position was. So sometimes he plays a winger, sometimes he plays a central attacking mid. He'd play all over the show. I think the same could be said for Kovacic, to be honest. Like, yeah, they've won Champions Leagues together, but really, I don't think they knew the best positions. Uh, Zenmex, crikey, I've not seen you for a while. Uh, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Um, Arsenal was Sir Robert Mc McAlpine. Ah... That makes sense. Yeah, he, I think he did quite a few in the 90s as well. I think he did Huddersfields. Did he? Uh, let's have a look. Sir Robert McAlpine. Uh, major projects. They did Main Road. Did Main Road, did the original Wembley, Emirates, like you said, um, did the Millennium Dome, I didn't know that one, Eden Project, that's a toilet, um, and they did the London Stadium, and then I think Populous, who did they do? Um, was not far actually, it was about the same build as Matt. Oh, cheers. <laughs> uh, I watched the documentary of the Emirates being built. Right, I see. Yeah, populists have got offices all over the world, but their specialty is sports architecture. So they've done a lot of stadiums in the MLB, and they've done cricket, 
uh, what football ones have they done? So they did John Smith, they did the Reebok, uh, Bobby Robson stand at Portman Road. They did have a hand in the Emirates, Populous, Stadium and K, Wembley, Fawcett's Farm, which hasn't even been built yet, uh, Etihad Expansion from 2015, Spurs, and also the Riverside stand at Craven Cottage. And they also did Leon. So, yeah. That's pop that's a brief history of populace for you. But I would not mind working for them one day. Uh, uh are you still building these days, Zenmax? Uh, I don't think I needed to actually put a... Uh, damn it! Not that one. That should actually be on the same ground level. I didn't need another set of stairs. LOL! Um, nobody comes close to the grandfather of stadium building, Archibald Leach. Yeah. Without Archibald Leach, you would not have the likes of Goodison, Ibrox, Craven Cottage as well as numerous others. Goodison Park as well, that's another one that was an Archibald Leach. If you don't know anything about Archibald Leach, I would suggest doing your research on him. Um, may as well represent populace built half of their stadiums. <laughs> they do the best ones though. Can't argue with that. Um, right, so I want that. Uh, yes, now I have some projects with SML designs. All oh, right, you're teaming up. That'll be good to see. Uh, when was the last time I did a collab? It was 2020, wasn't it? Good grief. The way I've said to Aussie Stadium Builder that when I get a chance I might do a collab with him in terms of doing Optus Stadium in Perth. Because I've got family in Perth so I want to sort of do a stadium for them. Problem is I have not a clue how to do an oval in my scale. Because I'd need to work out every single seat. That's going to be fun. Um. Any stadium that has a lattice is a leech stadium. Yeah, that's very true. And he was also Scottish. I think. That's going to be embarrassing if I've just said that and I'm wrong. Yes, he was. Thank Christ for that. <laughs> 2020 feels like a decade ago. Please don't say that. That just makes me feel old. I was very good at one time. I made one of my friends feel old actually yesterday because I told her how long it had been since we last met up. Five years, eleven months, eleven days. Uh, thank Christ it's history, indeed. 2020 will go down on record as a really crap year. Uh, I don't know where the door is on this. I'm presuming the door's at the back here. It would make more sense. So what my plan is, once I've got these sort of box things done, then I want to look at trying to do the dugout. Because I think that's the last sort of structural element on the pitch side area of the Sir Bobby Charlton stand. I 
And I was debating the other night, actually. I think it was once I f finished the stream on Saturday. And it's regarding the corners. Don't worry, it's not going to require a certain rebuild. Again. Um, so, what I'm thinking is, with the corners, because they're not... Like the connections between the back of the stand and the front is not flat. It lines up with where the expansion is on the stretch for the knee stands. So in terms of the trusses, I'm thinking of possibly leaving the corner trusses until I've done the expansions. What do you guys think? good thing about 2020 is meeting most of you yeah 2020 was also when the gallery was founded Christ that feels like an age ago <laughs> in 2020 the holder was still building although he sort of chipped in when it came to setting the gallery up because he gave me the idea for it so I'll credit him with that um, I finished St James's Park in 2020. I didn't realise you did St James's. That's one that's on my list as well. And I've got interior pictures for it. So St James's will be a fun one to do. I mean, it'll take an age, but then again with me, what stadium doesn't take an age? Uh, if it's easier for you, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. Cause, I mean, I'd have like there are certain parts of those trusses in the corners that I'd have to slice off when it comes to doing the expansion. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on with it. And on comes Noel Gallagher for the first time tonight. I've got to go to Wednesday on that stream. I'll be streaming again Thursday evening. So if you keep an eye on my channel, I'll obviously put the stream up more than likely after this stream. So it'll probably be around eight o'clock Thursday. So I'm not I'm not doing anything on Thursday. So Right, let's have a look. All right, so what I want to do here, that's the end of the window, so, oh, I ain't got a minute. I shouldn't have put that stonework in. Ah, I don't mean that. <laughs> I should not have put that stonework in because it shouldn't be there. At least not for the most part. Uh, yeah, see you later, Dills. See you on the next stream. So I run it really because I think this. Yeah, I've I've actually forgotten what I was gonna say then. Just ignore me, I lose my mind half the time. Um. Right, so what I wanted to do was connect that up to the roof. That's why I shouldn't have put the stonework across. But I'm not gonna do the front bits yet because I'm. I'm not sure if I've got the height right on those windows. Uh, stack six up. We do nine, maybe.
It's a tune. Right. I'll go down the other end and I'll just work out the height of these windows because I might need to raise them up a bit. Does it line up? Let's just do this a minute. I think it lines up actually where the bottom of that is. So if I work at the height of that, then that might be a bit easier for me. Um, let's see. So that is one lower than that glass frame to work out the height of the glass frame I can work out the height of the windows fantastic I've not even put them over that side damn another Mancunian band in doves very nice right so that's there, so that means the window needs to be up to the height of that. So when the windows need to be up to the height of that, which is doesn't look right. Um. <laughs> See, because I don't want to leave too big a gap on the roof. I don't want to leave too big a gap on the roof, but likewise, I don't want to leave a, I don't want to make the windows too big. Um, that went well. Uh. Move that one up. Uh, the other way I can look at it is if I measure it up against that stupidly positioned door that shouldn't even be there. It's taller than the door. Right, so I might actually have to make it big after all. Um, let's see. That's two. Oh no, is that right? Um. Mind you, the window's too low anyway. So that's going to have to be moved. Is that three up? Because then that's in line with that. And then... Um... But who would have thought trying to place windows could be so flaming difficult? Right, so that's the top of the window there. Stack that one down. Um, 
It's really perplexing me that. Because that means you're going to end up with stupidly high doorways. I'm going to move the whole thing down by one block. I do not want retardedly high windows. Uh, so I'll move that one down. How tall is that now? So that's eight tall. Hmm. I'll make it work. We'll, we'll work with that. It's not perfect, but I can't really do anything else with it. Before anybody asks, I am going to be streaming till about half eleven tonight. That's my plan. Who have we still got in the stream anyway? I don't want to feel like I'm talking to myself. Although I do that most days. So that's about right, I think. Oh, I've gained a sub. 950 subs. So we're 50 off a thousand. So that's 50 off doing something for a thousand subs, which, by the looks of it, it's going to be that reacting stream to mascots and stuff. Apparently that's a thing. I might take a break from Old Trafford as well next week. So when I put the poll out in terms of deciding what to stream, it'll probably just be the three championship ones. That is unless I make any significant progress with Wigan because I'm depending on how Wigan goes, I might change the stream on Friday. I might turn it into a final day stream. I know they tend to be quite popular. The reason I obviously say it'd have to be the Friday as opposed to the Saturday is because I'm going to Bamba Bridge. So I wouldn't be able to do it on the Saturday. But it still come, still come with the same sort of rules. Ten hours. Get the stadium done with the possibility of 
30 minutes to sit well 30 to 60 minutes overtime if necessary uh, we do need variety yeah I mean, I was debating putting Old Trafford in the stream, well, in the poll for this week, because obviously I streamed it all last week, and plus the fact that I know that if Old Trafford is on a poll, then everybody's going to go for it. So, yeah, I think I'll give Old Trafford a rest next week. I don't want it becoming too monotonous. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's been nice to obviously get some work done on it, but yeah, I do, I do agree, there has to be variety, otherwise it gets boring. Uh, right, that's all good. I'll just do that as a flat wall. Actually, no, I can't. I can't do that. Because there's a noticeable dip in the top part of the wall, so I have to cut that part out. They very much want to be one of those people, or one of those streamers who listens. So, if you want me to stream something out of the stadiums that I've got, then I'll do it. saying that if I didn't listen I wouldn't be putting a poll out every week um, what do we all think about that anyway in terms of turning the poll into a weekly thing bearing in mind that they are carried out across Instagram and YouTube Eight up. I don't know what song this is, but it's boring. Uh, no, that'll do. All right, so that's these ones done. That's fine. So I just need to do this half. Um, and I think in terms of doing the poll as well, it might be a case whereby once I finish one stadium, I might put a poll up with four championship grounds that I've still got to do. And let you pick which one I do. Like if anyone's interested in that. So it's pretty similar to what I'm doing with my request. In terms of trying to weed out which ones people want to see. And then if that one gets voted then I'll do that one first. It depends. What do, what do you guys want? I 
I'm all is. Well, all eyes and ears because it's a YouTube stream, isn't it? Right, so... Another vote. Okay. What's well, a basic? So, what 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 sort of vote? Like, would it be? Well, obviously keeping. What? Like keeping the stream one that I've got. So voting on what people want me to stream. But I'm just thinking like. In terms of one, when I finish a championship ground, do I do another vote to give people that chance to see which one they want me to start? If that sort of makes sense. I'm turning my channel into a democracy here. <laughs> Nobody said it was a bad thing. Uh, makes sense. That's that's fair enough. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't raise the height of that, did I? Actually branches out a bit further than what I've got it. So I'm one long window on this. Hmm. So it goes across that one. sense so I've got it marked it correctly that's good um,
Oh, this is fun. So that's one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one is when it stops. One, two, three, four, eight. Oh, this room went the way of the dodo quick, didn't it? So three, four, just above the fifth roll there, I think. One, two, oh, that's one, two, three, four, five, but it's only over the seat. Um <laughs> thinking um, right so the end of it's there so that's what one two three four five six seven, eight, nine ten eleven so it ends on the eleventh so that's three six nine eleven Then I just need to work out how far it branches out from this side. Uh, I think it follow, does it follow it all the way around? So its furthest point is the fifth one. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and presumably it's the same all the way across. Or is it? Well, that doesn't help in the slightest. Uh, oh, it does stay all the way out. Right, okay. So it follows the fifth row all the way across. Um, I'm back after a lengthy conversation with the boss. Hey, it's good to know someone's still here. <laughs> I think the stream died a while ago. Um, Well, I'm on the last bit of this interior wall, so then I just need to do that window, and I think I need to replace that actually. But I can leave that for another time. That's fine. Um, yeah, it went the way of the dodo. <laughs> 
I, kn I knew that I'd put people to sleep, but even that was quick. Um, just got beat from Livingston, just a friendly though. Yikes. Is it at the Tony Macaroni by any chance? Or the spaghetti ad, as they call it. It was. What a guess. Um, any progress whilst I was away for the hour? Uh, nothing apart from these windows. That's literally it. So you've pretty much not missed anything. Or anything exciting. Um, lost 2-0. Ah. Gotta be doing better. That's just unacceptable. Ah, it's one below where the window is, so it's here. And I didn't put a wall on the end, fantastic. That's better. Um, I'll be getting back onto the exterior once I finish these. Actually, no. No, I said I was going to work on the dugout once I finish these windows. Uh, we are Celtic in a couple of weeks. Ouch. That's going to be fun to watch. Uh, hmm. Oh, hang on a minute. I thought that when it cut back there, it cut all the way back to the wall. It doesn't. So it goes from five rows out to three. So, what's that? One, two, two, three. So it goes to about there. Um, again, just a friendly. Well, at least it's not the league. Otherwise, I really doubt that would be very fun to watch. Uh, hmm. I think it's the next Saturday. Well, so. Ne so next Saturday, you mean? Oh, hello. Um, sorry. Breaking news: Millwall confirm owner and chairman John Berylson has died, age seventy. That's just come up on Sky Sports. Uh, I was going to say 70 is not really that good an age. It's alright, I suppose, but no. Nah. Not the best. Um, if Celtic were in League One, what happened to them in recent years? <laughs> I'd hate to imagine. Young. Yeah. It's only what? Three, maybe four years off retirement age. Or past retirement age, after, should I say.
memories of Rangers playing the likes of Anan, Anan Clyde and East Sterling. That wasn't that long ago either. I mean, that was what? Probably four or five years ago? Bango. Uh, more ten years ago. Crikey, time has gone past, hasn't it? <laughs> I didn't think it was as long ago as that. Although saying that, was, they went into admin in 2012, didn't they? So I suppose that does make sense. Casually whistling to morning glory. It's a banger, why not? <laughs> it's too catchy not to. <laughs> Put that there for. <laughs> I've actually forgotten why I put that there. I don't remember putting it there. The doctors, hi, what's your name? Uh, Matt, why? Uh, some Wigan player. My name is Jeff. <laughs> um, and I was at the street. They took the cover photograph. What street was that? Is that the one that you sent me the picture of that time? And then you said, "Can you guess what street this is?" Uh, I'm just asking. All oh, right, fair enough. I was gonna say it's not normal that like, I get asked that, so that was a bit wary. Um, Berwick Street in Soho, yeah. Ah, that makes sense. It never dawned on me. Uh, that's probably about two, maybe three rows worth, I think. So that's six blocks. Uh, Max Power is tendering a new contract with Wiggins to join Saudi Arabian second tier side. I'll. Holy hell, look at all those vowels. Um, Al Quadzia FC, who are managed by Robbie Fowler. Well, it's probably no surprise if I say I've never heard of him. Yep, they are. <laughs> Although, probably not so much anymore. I mean, they did get taken over. 
so Alright, so it's six blocks behind this and then that's the back wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um at least it's not me signing from <laughs> I can't begin to imagine Max. Hey, pendulum. Someone sent me an AI generated picture of a gender bent Silver the Hedgehog. The nose was wonky, so I just asked if Silver was now played by Daniel Westbrook. <laughs> I mean, probably, you never know. Um, when I used to play cricket, they put me down as Max Power, because they couldn't be bothered to put my full name down. <laughs> that makes sense, I suppose. Four, five, six, seven, yeah. Well's with it is. I think the queue in Arabic is like a glottal stop. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I've no idea. I mean I'm not exactly fluent. W a lot. Well, it, can't, it can't be any worse than Icelandic. It's like every letter there has probably about four or five different meanings. And it just gets really weird. Uh, I think we all know our one Arabic phrase, but we won't say it. Yeah, I think I think I know where you're going with that one. Ahmed the Det. I remember that. <laughs> a mate of mine showed me that when I was a kid. That would definitely be inappropriate around this time. Alright, I 
need some fencing. another cute thing because it's used in Maltese as a glottal stop sound. Right, okay. There's no way I'd have known that. Wigan. <laughs> um. Oh, ACDC, fantastic. Um, can't go for that week in Malta. Every day is a school day. <laughs> That's what I say at work every day. Christ. Mr. Know it all person at your work. Yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, you wouldn't believe some of the people I work with. Half of them, I wonder how the hell they even finished school. club with me uh, we have one called mr. Wikipedia I got nicknamed Google that was back in 2014 I think but because I'm really good like, I've got a really good sense of direction as well so like my auntie called me sat nav so I said to her this particular time well if I chip that in with the nickname I got given by my mates which is Google then does that mean I'm essentially Google Maps? Oh, because some of the stuff he says is wrong. <laughs> What my mate used is how can someone be so dull with one head? <laughs> At least you use it when it's useful. Exactly.
it's got myself a know it all. I just know a lot of shit after watching so many quiz shows as a young boy. To be fair, I'm like that. I like watching the chase quite a lot as well. Millionaire. I had that actually on the original PlayStation. Well, my dad got it for me one particular time. I can't remember the amount of times I got the million on it. I think I must have been about four or five year old at the time. Oh, bugger. Just a random YT Shorts channel. Welcome to the stream. Uh, do you support furries? I don't know what furries are. That's not a joke either, by the way. I li literally do not know what they are. Um, it's... It's heretical to say yes. It's good that you don't know. And I'm kind of glad I don't know. And yet I'm somewhat perplexed and confused at the same time. Um, I have it for the PS2 with a rather early CGI looking Chris Tarrant. <laughs> uh, I, had it, um, I had it on PS1. I know people who are furries and are good people. I, I honestly have no clue what they are. Uh, can I see the stadium? Uh, you can in a minute. I'll just finish this a little bit. Oh, for crying out loud. Put it on the wrong bit, didn't I? Furries are people who usually dress up or play an anthropomorphic animal. What? Or in the extreme cases, identify as an animal. Right, so they're just basically escape mental patients then. Um, can I see the stadium? Yeah, so... Really, all I've done tonight so far is just this stretch. But I, I want to do the dugouts tonight. And then once I've done that, then we can sort of go back to the outside, finish that off, and then move on. Uh, they always think of it as cosplay. They also want to bang animals. Yeah, so they are, in a sense, escape mental patients. Someone might want to give Broadmoor a ring. Uh, don't mean to be rude, but have we got a fruit loop in here? <laughs> If a man has sexual relations with an animal, the man shall be put to death and you shall kill the animal. Christ, that's extreme. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all against beast I'm against bestiality, but Death. Bit much. Um And also children too. No, they call them paedophiles. Um Did you say there will be a download on this? There will be a download for every stadium I do. 
It's just I'll only be doing them for Java because I don't know how you do them for Bedrock now. Um, I just know people who just have a character as an animal. There are some weird people looking about. from the Bible, oh, sort of barking up the wrong tree there, I'm, I'm an atheist. I've not set foot in a church since 2003. I'll go and see a shrink. Believe me, if you're dressing up as an animal and doing stuff like that, it's probably best to go and see one. Not saying that you do see one, Max. <laughs> uh, I mean, many religions denounce furries heretics. That's fair enough, that's up to them to decide. I wouldn't denounce it as such, but I do think they're weird. Um, Duncan Ferguson at FGR. You didn't know that, Ross. He joined in January, I think. He was the manager beforehand. I'd actually forgotten. Um, but yeah, they, I think they made him do like a vegan advert or something like that, and then they just sacked him, which is strange. Um... Right, so there's a brick wall going along there, and then pff, that's easy enough to do. Last time I dressed up as an animal, was it a fancy dress stag do, and I was a gorilla. <laughs> as you do. Last time I dressed up, I dressed up as a skeleton for Halloween, the day before my 14th birthday. <laughs> I've never once dressed up as an animal. Um, when will you be ending the stream? I'll be finishing at half eleven. So I'll be going for about another hour yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stop and I've not gone too far. Three, six, nine. Oh, that went out the window, didn't it? Um, I'm really confused. Uh. Wait, how much of a gap is actually there? Uh, I don't need to dress up for Halloween, I'm already scary enough. To be fair, I'd have to scare most people anyway. Uh, right, so there's five, and there's a gap of two. Right, okay. So that should be about here. And then it should be three. Six, nine, eleven. That's gonna be a small ass window. Um should go to the end of that. Now I'm really confused. Sorry, I'll just do a three wide window. I mean, it's roughly right anyway, so... 
Um, wonder, wonder how many odd balls will come in the next hour. I do not know. Always tends to be around this time as well, weirdly. Um, I'm going to go see you soon. No worries, Harry. Thanks for dropping in. I'll catch you later. just now like I'm all don't get me wrong I don't mind religion like hell one of my friends is religious she is actually a Christian but it's when they try and force it down other people's throats that I don't like like more for people having like the freedom to believe what they want and stuff like that but don't try and force it down other people's throats that causes wars. Three, six, nine, eleven. Yeah, I'll just made do with that. Uh, I thought someone stole my ring doorbell tonight, then realised they had held charge. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, it's like I've been like I've not been religious since I was about since I was about eight. Cause the way that I see it, like I'm. I'm more in favour of believing science as opposed to religion. The reason being, science you can prove, but religion is purely belief. That's where I stand on it. And plus, it's all well and good, like reading the Bible and stuff like that, but it wouldn't surprise me if that's been rewritten like four or five times and then the facts would have changed each time. So, how can you prove anything that happened in the Bible? Um, oh yeah, I had some preacher lady try to convert me while I was walking in Camden Lock. It wasn't a Jehovah's Witness, was it? They are the worst. They're creepy people. Um, I think it was, oh Christ. <laughs> I can get away with that pun because I'm not religious, so... What the hell am I listening to? Hmm. That'll do. Um, apparently I'm Catholic according to my mum, but the rules they go by... I think I've broken every one. <laughs> I think I probably have by this point. I was christened. I was christened. I went to a Church of England school for the first eight years of my life. I mean, I left them a present on the way out once I changed schools. By that, I mean I farted during the Lord's Prayer. So... Uh, I think it was, I see them all the time with their bag stores and holding pamphlets in the town. Granted, they don't come out to you, thank Christ. Um, and then you get the preachers waffling on about crap. Exactly. Then there's always the odd bloke with the megaphone standing in the middle of the town centre trying to preach to everybody. It's like, just let people believe what they want. 
If they don't believe what you believe, fine. But it was shoving it down people's throats, which is what led to the Crusades. It's like, believe what you want, or you're our enemy, essentially. Uh, pink stained glass. Quartz pillar is what I need. which nobody listens to and just tackles at them. Yeah. I mean, this is a this is another thing about science, right? You've got the James Webb Telescope, which is up there now. It's discovered vast wonders and untold things across the universe. Not once has it come across a picture of some bloke sitting on a cloud with a magnifying glass. Think of Bo Dallas saying Bo Leave. That is pretty much what I do think of, actually. Um, right, so we're up to the end of this, actually. Is there anything else on the end of that? Nothing apart from the corner, at least. Which I can't even see how many seats across that is because of the bleeding banner. Um, right, I think I'll finish off the other side and then we'll move on to the dugout. Sounds like a plan. I've seen one in Stirling, seen one in Falkirk, seen plenty in Glasgow and obviously London. I've seen one or two in Bolton. Although the funny thing is, like, my friend who I've known her since nursery, and like she's she's pretty much always been religious, but I found out yesterday she's not been to a church for years. You're probably talking five years since she last went to church. So dare I say that even she's falling out of it. Apparently she wants a boyfriend who's religious. Well, that's me screwed. I mentioned the guy who won the hot dog eating competition in New York frequently looked like Fog Dad. No, he didn't, but it probably might have been him. <laughs> I hear Theo tends to prefer those sorts of people. Didn't it? Uh, it's just a drink.
called Sausage Dogs. Like a mix of Thug Dad and Matt Hancock. Oh god. <laughs> Definitely is type then. Forest screen appoint Hannah Dingley as caretaker head coach. Well, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Uh, yeah. And the king was in bonus. Not entirely sure where that is, to be honest. Forest Green have got a female head coach now. That's a breakthrough for English football. Fair play to them. Uh, next one's that one. I'll do a five one for this one. seeing Instagram notifications. What's the bet in any of them are only fans related? Excuse the pun, wonder if she like meat. Oh for God's sake. <laughs> well to be fair, Dale Vince probably wouldn't have hired her if she did. Alright, let's have a look at these dugouts then. And I know I've still got the gantry to do. That's probably going to be the last thing I do. Um, right, so I need the middle section. So this bit here. It's six on one side. Five, six. Tucks into a ginster sausage roll every now and again when it isn't a match day. <laughs> Good grief.
notes. Right, so I need a pathway along there, so that's is that doorway that. Probably not the best seat to have a look at it, is it? Um I mean, you can tell all this is the seats have still got the Chevrolet signage on them. Um, meet and greets be fun. Sign my vehicle past it. You're not going to stop coming out with puns, are you? Actually, no, it can't be a door because the match well, the old tunnel is underneath. So, first things first, let's get rid of all these. So if the old tunnel is underneath, so that's one, two, three, four. I'll have to dig down. keep going with this for the time being but I might need to change a couple aspects Back out again, indeed. <laughs> Love brick. You're seeing plenty of it on this. in line with this one isn't it it's just in front so that's do it from the back it's easier um, are you doing the race pitch last yeah it'll probably be easier because I'm going to need to use the pitch area to do all sorts of stuff for guiding 
like building the stands and stuff so it's better to put the pitch in last uh, one two three four so that's five down Five. It's just in front of us. Fifth. So that's the. That's what I want. Three wide stairway. And then six seats. Question is how high is that? Same height. Uh, the bit where I was sitting won't be built for a while, won't it? Yeah, you were sat over there, weren't you? So the quadrants are going to be the last bit that I build before moving to the interiors. I mean, I would follow a similar pattern, do the, like, do the interiors at the same time that I'm building the stands, but then I'd be chop chopping and changing them every five minutes. Alright, so I'll do, I'll do the steps first. It's a red floor. It's the same colour as the edge of the pitch, actually, the moat, as they call it. Um, so we've got two rows of seats. So I think if I find where that bit is, then I should be able to do it better. So three, six, nine, ten, eleven from the left. Three, six, nine, ten. And from this side, it's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. That gives me enough for this enough room for the six seats. Uh, goes about three rows. So that wipes out this one. This one. And this one. mistaken this would be the bit where Arsene Wenger stood that time he got sent off um, anyway see you Thursday yeah no worries Ross it's been good having you I'll see you then right, so I need enough headroom Three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, the 
there's three more seats at the top. It's pretty much a carbon copy in it. on this side as well so I should have enough room. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh that looks like it's gonna be five on one side. Unless I just move that uh, Yeah, I can move that over. Raise that bit up. Uh, MTS, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. How are you doing? Unusual dugouts. Yeah. Well, the dugouts haven't changed, but the tunnel obviously is no longer being used. I mean, this isn't the end of the world. Like, when I finish the stream, I'll probably do a bit more on it. And then hopefully come Thursday stream I might make a start on expanding the Sir Alex Ferguson stand so it'll make a change uh, I'm good mate how are you yeah I'm not too bad there's a couple, couple of things really I mean I might like, I'm thinking of making the vote that I did on Instagram a weekly thing so that way everybody can choose what stadium they want to see me work on and then also when it comes to my championship builds I'm thinking of having it whereby I'll put four stadiums up which I think would be popular from the championship that I've got left and then have people vote on them because then people can decide which stadium they want me to start next if that makes sense. I think I'm also about 50 subs away from a thousand as well, so... We'll keep going. I 
that's the annoying thing I've noticed about this dugout, it's not even central. That's fine. Uh, uh, exactly 50 away. Yeah. I think I am at least anyway. Yeah. 950 subs. 50 to go to a thousand. Then we'll probably do something for it I'd imagine. I'm also thinking of removing Old Trafford from the poll for next week because like, this will be two weeks in a row that I've worked on it so I want to give it a bit of a break so it'll probably just be a championship builds next week 24 hour stream Christ <laughs> I could do but YouTube wouldn't render it that's the only issue with that because YouTube only renders up to about 11 hours I think. It's either 11 or 12 hours. Fifty for the mascot stream. Yeah, that's that's it. I forgot about that. Uh, well, we have to re react to different mascots that people suggest because apparently that's a thing. I didn't. I did not come up with the idea. I just want to let that be known. clarifying I know <laughs> it was weird as well earlier on actually I think it was about half past one this afternoon someone knocked on my door but they only knocked once and then scarpered I've no idea who it was something like that and then obviously you can't access the old tunnel anymore so I need to block that off red terracotta for the pitch or the moat at least so I can use that for this flooring because it is pretty much the exact same colour Uh, 
Sanders and said they delivered my package, but I didn't hear the door knock or the ring doorbell, so they left it on my doorstep. Well, that's it. I mean, I was having a nap at the time. And then hurt, like, it was the knock that woke me up. But by the time I got to the door, I opened it. There was nobody there. The front gate was open. And then next door's gate was open as well. So I'm just presuming it was probably the neighbours. No idea why, though. Alright Luke, welcome to the stream. Still sitting 50 subs off a thousand. Yeah, I did get told off yesterday for building Old Trafford. the dugouts ish do need some glass on it though just to act as handlebars or railings rather How's it going? I've just come off of TikTok Live, which went fairly well. 40 subs in an hour. I had no clue you were streaming tonight. Cheers for the warning. Um, it's not going too bad. Uh, we had some weirdo in earlier on talking about furries, which I didn't even know what they were. Um, I went and saw... My, probably my two best friends yesterday for the first time in nearly six years and then got told off when I told one of them I was doing Old Trafford because she's a City fan so other than that it's all been good not been too bad um, I don't want to put too much on it Right, that's the dugout's done. Uh, I don't think I've got anything left actually on this. Not in terms of interiors at least. Oh, there's the tunnel down there that I need to do. Um, I posted on my story, I'll, I'll also be live tomorrow around 7.30. Yeah, that's fair enough, I'll, I'll join tomorrow night. Well, I'm not streaming till Thursday, so... But I've been streaming since half eight, so I didn't have a clue. Um, that's Bant. <laughs> well, to be honest, even though it was the first time I'd seen like one of them in six, nearly six years, it was probably the most comfortable we've been around each other. So... There's that. Although then, apparently, she want, she was looking for a boyfriend who's religious. 
I just thought to myself, well, that's me screwed. Twenty. Oh, twenty-seven. Oh. Oh, Aussie, you all right? Not too bad. Uh, our religious. Yeah, she's. She. Well, we went to the same school, so it was a Church of England school. But what I found out yesterday is that apparently she's not even been to church in like five years. So I don't know if I sort of rubbed off on her in that. Still, she's the only one I've ever liked. Let's put it that way. And she knows. Uh, so religious then. Yeah. She didn't exactly like it when I said bum fluff in church once. I went down like a wet fart in a broken lift. How wide is that? It's about four rows worth, so that's about eight blocks. Get in there. <laughs> the problem was when I said it, I didn't think anybody was listening. So I went and came out and said it. Turned out they turned out that her and her mum were both listening, and I just got the weirdest look imaginable. So yeah, that that went well, <laughs> and that was the last time I set foot in a church to this day. That's probably why. Uh, I've forgotten what I'm looking for. Nope, not main road. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the moat. Because that's what they call the path around the pitch. Oh, so there's no brick around the pitch. Why the hell did I get that idea from? Uh, three, six, five. So if I do seven, I think. I feel like I missed out on some important parts. What are you talking about? So there's this girl who I've been friends with for over 20 years. And we both went nursery together. She's the only girl I've ever liked, but she's religious. Um, although from... Like, we saw each other yesterday for the first time in about six years, and that was probably the least awkward meeting we've ever had since I moved back up north. Um, but there was one particular meeting where I went to church that we used to go to, and I was talking to her and her mum. It turned out her mum used to teach me read... Like, she used to teach me how to read in school. So... She even dropped her daughter in it and said that I was the better reader, so that was fun. And then I came out and said bum fluff in church, not realising that anybody was listening. That got me probably the worst look imaginable. I just wanted to curl up in a ball and die at that point. Bearing in mind what made it worse was at the time I had my face painted as a tiger. <laughs> yeah, so that entire experience went down about as well as a wet fart and a broken lift. Six. That's just wrong. 
Not cool. Uh, Matt, you are religious. Bolt is your religion. Yeah, and the Reebok is my church. <laughs> That's the easiest way I can get out of that. Yeah, but apparently she's not been to church for about five years, so... But as soon as I found out yesterday, she was trying to look for a boyfriend who is religious. I just thought, well, that's me screwed. <laughs> I've been an atheist for nearly 20 years. See if this is working out right. Yeah, that kind of works. Uh, how close is the DW to being finished? Well, I started actually landscaping it last night. So I thought. I might as well leave the Springfield stand and signage and stuff. I might as well leave that until I can do a final day stream. Um, so I'm just in the process at the minute of getting the landscape into a point where I think I can have the whole lot finished in 10 hours. And then once that's the case, then I'll put forward details with regards to a final day stream. comes keen. Maybe the end of the week. Possibly. I mean, I'm streaming obviously Thursday anyway, but the thing is I might have to move the Saturday stream to Friday because I'm going to Bamba Bridge on Saturday watching Bolton. So... We'll see, but it's possible that the final day stream for Wigan might end up being on Friday as opposed to Saturday. Sounds like fun. It, it might well be. You never know. Is it eight or seven? Seven. Six. Six, right. I was going to say, how are you getting on with your stadium as well? 
oh, just went and looked such a small stadium and team. Why did Bolton organise that friendly? I don't know. I mean, more often than not, uh, pre-season friendlies tend to be at smaller teams. So I think the three we've got coming up, we've got um, got Bamba Bridge on Saturday, got Curzon Ashton away Tuesday night, and then we've got Chester, funnily enough, next weekend, next Saturday. So I'll be able to go to the Davis Stadium. Measure it up and see how well I did. <laughs> I mean, we were supposed to be having European competition at one point, but then they, I think the team pulled out or something, and we ended up getting West Brom at home instead. Yay! Although at least we're getting Everton as well, so that's something, I suppose. question for me uh, well either one of you <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry I'm half asleep as I was at work today fair enough I wasn't actually going to stream but I cancelled yesterday so I needed to make it up that's again that's fair enough but yeah either one of you how are your stadiums getting on um, just the fact it is West Brom is immediately worse well, yeah, as opposed to the fact we could have had European competition. I don't know who it was. Apparently we could have had Monaco one summer. That would have been interesting. I think it was when we were in Portugal, because they had their training camp out there as well. But then we turned it down and ended up having an away day at Otherton Collieries. Yay! <laughs> Imagine that, turning down Monaco for Atherton Collieries. Christ. Well, saying that, we did beat Watford in a pre-season friendly last summer, I think. Also, yes to the weekly poll. Yeah, I, I was I was actually wondering what people would make of that. I mean, it makes the channel a bit more democratic, so then people can sort of vote for what they want to see. Although next week I will be taking Old Trafford out of it because I want a break from it. I'd have been working on it for two weeks at that point. And I'm also thinking of doing a poll whenever I finish Championship Stadium. So what will happen is I'll take four Championship Stadiums that I've got left and then put that to a vote and then whichever one wins that vote, I'll start. So that probably seems like an idea as well. Uh, but is beating Watford that great of an achievement? Well, considering we'd just come up I think we've just finished ninth in League One and they've just been relegated from the Prem. I'd say so. Um, I just started building two on Java, Combank Stadium. I saw that one. Um, and the tin part. Oh, you're doing the cake tin. Wellington. And I love Weld in it. Very good. Weld in it is a godsend. Um. Is that when you finish the DW? Well, 
I don't, I don't know. I might have it done. If I can get it to where I want to by Friday, I'll do a final day stream on Friday. But we'll see how we go. I meant for the poll with the new stadium. Yeah. So that would be the first time that I do that poll. And it will continue every time I finish a new every time I finish a stadium at that point, I'll put four stadiums up for a vote and then whichever one gets the most votes I'll start. Cause then at least I can sort of better gauge which are the more popular ones and then it's probably it's, it's sort of similar to what I'm doing with my requests, in a way. So it's like the more popular it is, the sooner it will get built. I've not done a video explaining that on TikTok, actually. I still need to do that. Um, all my stadiums are going well, Chase. Good stuff. What was the one that you started anyway, Luke? I know it was one I didn't recognise. It's one of the EFLs. I'm going to take a punt. Uh, is the story still on Instagram? I think it might well be, actually. That's it being messages, wouldn't it? Uh... No. Could have sworn I replied to it. <laughs> I know everybody's just seen my Instagram messages. <laughs> I'm going to take a punt. I think it looked like a single tier ground. So, single tier ground with red seats in the EFL. Centre thoughts off. That's the one. Right, it's got red. It's got red seats, from what I can tell. Definitely single tier. Um. I am going to take a punt. And I'm going to say Wrexham. Because I think that that might be where the new cops go in. And that sort of resembles the main stand of sorts at Wrexham. So I think that might be the race course ground. I'm probably wrong, but yeah, that's my pun. Uh, seeing some of the stadiums on that list and their capacities based on how fast Chester was done, I think you could get about 10 done in two to three months. Yeah, I probably could do actually. If, if they were all of similar size, like around the nine, ten thousand capacity mark, I reckon I could do them. Uh, oh, interesting guess, but wrong. Yeah, I thought so. <sighs> I thought I might have been wrong. 
very much a case of a laggy. Where's Lucas Lever when you need him? Uh, let's see, what will the... I'm trying to think now, stadiums with red seats. Wrexham, it looks too big to be Salford, so it's not that. Um, there's Barnsley as well. So that would probably be another guess. Brisbane Road, Leighton Orient, yeah, that's another one. In fact, you've got me intrigued, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to start in the Championship and work down. I'm pretty sure I'll know which ones have got red seats. There's Bristol City, but your stadium's not connected, so it rules that one out automatically. Um, Middlesbrough, that's another one, but that's also connected, so that also rules that one out. Uh, other red ones. Rotherham, that's a bowl, so that's out. Stoke, you've already done. Sunderland, you've already done, so that's no championship. Lincoln, that is a shout. That is also red seats. And the stands aren't connected. So Lincoln is a hell of a shout. In League One, you've got Oakwell, but you've already said it's not that. The Valley. It's not Lincoln. Right, okay. The, Va the Valley might be a shout. I mean, it's connected in two corners, but it's a shout. Uh, Cheltenham, that's red seats as well, so that's another one. Exeter, maybe. Apart from the fact there's half a stand missing. Uh, Fleetwood, that's another one. Leighton Orient, you've said no. Sinsel Bank, you've said no. Uh, Stevenage is another one. And then if we go to League 2, Accrington. Uh, what are the red seats? Crawley, Doncaster, Crewe. Um, it's Grimsby red seats. Grimsby does have red seats. I never knew that. Um, hang on, I need to put the eyes. That means I've said it. So, the eyes mean, that basically means I've said it, that narrows it down. Let's see the picture again. Not the crown ground. I'm going to take a punt and say Crawley. It's either Crawley or Crew, I reckon. I'll say Crawley or Crew, or at very worst, I'm going to say Stevenage. You 
have already said it though, so... Well, judging by the delay of the comments, I'm presuming that was a note to Crawley. Is it in League One? Crawley incorrect, right. That narrows it down. Delay means it could be the end of League One. Well, if it's not League One, that rules out Stevenage, and therefore that automatically means it's League Two. And that narrows it down further. Can't confirm it's League One, I'm saying Stevenage. Incorrect, right, okay. Right, so stadiums in League One that have got red seats. It's not Barnsley, it's not Leighton Orient, it's not Lincoln, it's not Stevenage. So the only that narrows it down to three. So that's either Fleetwood, Cheltenham, or Charlton. It's not Vale Park, Vale Park's got a yellow seat. So it's Charlton, Cheltenham. Or Fleetwood. Let's have a look. It's actually none of them also. Huh? Oh wait, I left out Exeter, didn't I? I think it might be Exeter. That's the only other one with red seats. If it is Exeter, then that away end is going to be a piece of piss. It is Exeter. <laughs> Called it. You'd probably, I think the size of that ground, you'd have that done by the end of the month. It's not a big ground at all. I think, is it smaller than Chester? I was 8,720 for Exeter. What was Chester? 8,720. Alright, oh, so sli just slightly bigger than Chester. Yeah, you'd have that done sharpish, that. Exeter's not a big ground at all, unless you're doing the housing round it. Which I presume you've accounted for. You've already finished the stands. Well, I said you'd have it done quick. <laughs> St. James's Park. Where I went last April. I don't know how much you're doing landscaping wise, but you've got a shed load of housing as well as a steep drop on one side. 
Have fun. <laughs> You know what, sorry, I might just do the pitch now. Why did I put them there? That's confused me. Which one's the right line? That's the right line. Don't get me started. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Oh, that's more or less spot on then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven or eight for the six yard box. Or was that what I marked out? That was what I marked out. Um, I like doing the pitch halfway through. I'm I'm only doing it like I was gonna save it until later, but I couldn't be asked. So might as well just get it out of the way. I'm just gonna work out where the 18 yard line is. The 18 yard line is one past here. Um, I'm doing a build competition to celebrate one year of my channel. I don't know why I thought, but it could be interesting. It could. I think I saw the post about that actually. Sounds like a cracking idea. I think Phantom did that once, and then it took him an age to do a stadium for somebody. One, four, eight. Simple procedure, do half the pitch and then flip it. You should definitely do it. I could do it, yeah. How should I do it, though? That's the thing. I think with the pitch as well, I'm going to give a bit more room on that side. So I'll move the pitch one block over that way, so... If I do this quadrant first, that's probably going to be easier. Uh, eh. Have more than two people, is it? No, I meant like, what sort of, like, if I was doing a stadium competition, like, what sort of competition? Like you mean pick stadiums from a league and then see who does the best replica or something? And a half eleven went out the window, didn't it? <laughs> right, let's see. So it's about seven seats over. Custom stadiums, 10 to 20k capacity. Right, okay. Yeah, that, that probably sounds like an idea. 
I won't mind being a judge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'd probably be a bit useless at running a competition, but I wouldn't mind judging in one. Uh, so it's one to the left of that. Why does that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, for God's sake. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 25, so that's 13. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 if I make the announcement on Twitter late t later today? Uh, announcement for what? What, in terms of your competition? That's, that's fine. That's not a problem with me. I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was trying to work out where the edge of the D is. One more over, I think. Uh, if you want to judge, yeah, that's that's fine. That's not a problem at all. One more say, I think. Perfect. Uh, three, six, nine, nine blocks over. I can't do the D properly until I know how wide it is. Right, so, rule of thumb is that the centre spot, or centre circle, is as wide as the six yard box. So that's there. Put the snow block for the centre spot. Uh, can I use a couple of... Uh, photos of your builds just to say I've got some random guy and you can actually build. Yeah, that's not a problem. Feel free. By all means. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Actually, what am I doing? I can just do this. Uh, white concrete, 21. That wasn't quite what I meant, but close enough. <sighs> I 
plus one on them. Uh, and then it's one block in for the thing. Four, two, three, two, two. All right, not quite. Five, five, four, three, two. Matt, the Simon Cowell of Minecraft judging. I will. The only thing I will say is that I will be brutally honest. If something's shit, I will say it is shit. Fifteen white goals, don't I? So six, six, thirteen in the middle, so that makes sense. Two, three, four, five. I'm ninety percent sure I'm the only person down here that watches the channel. Quite possibly. <laughs> I don't get that many viewers on average, so. Alter Bridge. Lovely. I'll provide a link to one of their builds. That's absolutely fine. Not a problem. They are quite wide nets at Old Trafford, aren't they? If I do, I'll do six. I think the stadium always looks more complete once you do the pitch. Looks less like a building site. Dark a bit of fence for that. Exactly my thoughts too. Yeah. Cobwebs. This will probably end up being like the widest net I've ever done. is always done last so that makes sense yeah it's like I said I would have left it until later on but I couldn't be asked leaving it spin these off I think the flags the flagpoles in the corners, they're white, aren't they? So, let's get some birch on the go for that. Oh, for God's sake. And then I know they're white. Uh, also with that picture, the recurring joke is that the team said 
they would build the stadium to get the Rail League license, which they got. But everyone down here knows it's never going to happen. <laughs> Ew, Birch. It's the white. It's literally the lightest coloured fence I can get. I know it's not the best, but it is what it is. If I could do better, I would. I don't want to change the glass, the grass layer at the other end, so that's why I'm not doing the lowermost part. But I'm hoping. Probably not mu not so much Thursday, but hopefully soon we'll be able to start working on the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. Slightly backfired. Yeah, <laughs> here's what it is. It's all good. I can work with it. Also, I know it might be like not in everybody's taste, but when it comes to the post that I put up on Instagram, obviously you know that I put music with them. I might start putting some more like rock slash heavy metal songs on them. I've got some songs that I can use, which I'll be able to play once this advert sods off. Because the, the one song that I would want to use, and I'll probably use it when it comes to a final day stream, is called Ladies and Gentlemen by the band Saliva. I don't care about Spotify Premium or whatever it is. I don't know. Eh... That wasn't what I wanted to listen to, but... Ah, there it is. If you watched WrestleMania 23, you'll know. Because that was the theme song. I know you can't even hear it, but... Here's what it is. <laughs> Unsainted, yeah. That's on the playlist as well. Tidy this up. Uh, it's Manchester, no one will notice. <laughs> ah, I got rid of the web. such a shame that I cannot play my music out loud. But I would love to do that. I know you can on TikTok, but I'm ages off being able to have enough followers in order to do it.
By the way, I wouldn't be using unsainted on an Instagram story because I know a lot of people wouldn't like it. It would have to be one that I think goes well. That's why I think ladies and gentlemen works. You can use NCS music, can't you? Yeah, I could use NCS music, but it's meh at best. <laughs> Unless I was to scroll through every single NCS song and pick out the ones that I think are bangers and then put them in a playlist. Which I probably could do, it might liven the streams up a bit, but yeah. I can imagine people not liking slip well in general. Yeah. I know a few of my friends thought I was mental when they said when I said to them that I listened to Slipknot. I mean you could chuck some songs by architects in there as well actually. Oh god, Fleetwood Mac. Send me out with a bang. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that was on the playlist. I think Luke's missing it, so he's unlucky. Because <laughs> I was the one who got him into it. tasting music from my dad I'm not sure who I got mine from I know my mum was into rock when she was growing up I think that's probably where I got my like of ACDC from to be honest and probably Guns N' Roses as well I used to be a regular listener of Rammstein when I was in high school. German band called Feuerschwanz. I've never heard of them. I know it was my late uncle who got me into Rammstein. The, only, the other thing that I know about Rammstein is that they always go mental with the pyrotechnics. Performances can also be very controversial. Yes, I spelled it right without having to Google it. <laughs> right, 
let's see another banger another banger another banger oh it's coming around to the songs I was listening to earlier damn and blast uh. oh Limp Bizkit actually speaking of Rammstein <laughs> Once I finish putting these walls in around the edge of the pitch, then I'll be ending the stream. What the hell? Oh, I know what I was going to put there. That's why I left it. that one called watching on about 480p so my laptop doesn't have a heart attack uh, it's called sauna it's off the muta album which came out in 2001 i think The video's meant to be like a piss take of Snow White. It's a bit weird. But then they've done worse. Although this, I think Sona is probably the only one that I know all the words to. I don't know what they mean, but I know all the words. Never heard of it, but I don't listen to much of their older stuff. I think some of their older stuff's better. There's one song in particular, I think. Well, surely you've heard of Du Hast. I think everybody has. Uh, there's... What are the ones? There's Engel. That's another good one. Uh, ich Will. And then probably one of my personal favourites, which is called Mind Tile. I'd go and listen to that one on YouTube. I mean the performance is it the performance on of Mind Tile. I can't remember which concert it was at, I think it was like Rock and Ring or something like that. And the performance for that does get really weird. Uh there's four people in the stream as Luke still in. I have no idea. I know two of them are me. Uh, there's also, I think there's some of the newer stuff, so there's Deutschland, which I think is really good. Um, Christ. Uh, got me thinking now. Uh, High Fish, I think it's pretty good. Um, ich tu der Weh. Radio, yeah. Um, I know they've had a few that have come out recently. I'm just trying to think what they were called. Uh, Dick of Titten. Yep, that is as mental as it sounds. Um, I think, is it Zigzag? I think that's another one. Oh, 
holidays, I've been asleep for like 15 minutes. <laughs> You've not missed anything, myself and Ozzy have been talking about Rammstein. And the fact that I might be using more rock songs on my Instagram stories whenever it comes to streams. <gasps> Firefly, good song. It's fine since it's in German. Yep. <laughs> uh, Firefly, I think, was used at the start of Triple X. That film with Vin Diesel. So I think Rammstein performed it live. Again, it felt weird. Never doing what again? <laughs> oh, I think we're all good. So, I think I'm probably going to call it for tonight because it's just gone midnight. Um, saying suck to someone. <laughs> To be fair, I remember the time I hugged my granddad. That felt weird. I don't like being touched. Gets really uncomfortable. Um, mind you, that sounded weird in itself. Um, sorry for falling asleep. It's alright. It's not a problem. Um, so, yeah. I'll try and get some more of this done. Over the next day or two. And then hopefully by Thursday, I'm hoping we might be ready to start on the Sir Alex Ferguson stand up at tears. So we'll see, we'll see where we're at. But next week I want to return to the Championship Stadiums. I mean Friday, depending on how much I get done, might be a final day stream for Wigan. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, been a good stream from what I've watched. Well you missed about half of it. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to end it for tonight, guys. Um, yeah, streaming Thursday is normal. Saturday stream, probably going to end up being Friday instead because of Bamford Bridge. So, yeah. Other than that, thank you for everybody keeping me company. Um, what's left? Uh, thanks for all the likes. The new sub. I'm still 50 off a 1,000, but it's progress, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. And I will see you all on Thursday.